first thing I do is I hook up the stainless steel hose. I would normally turn on the water, but because this tank is extremely full, I'm gonna wait till I hook up the rest of it before I turn on the water. This is to allow water flow into the, into the waste tank so it can get full and give it enough pressure to push everything out at once. But because it's so full, I need to hook everything up, dump it first, then start the process again. Oh, or start dumping and then I can turn on the water, that way it won't overflow. First thing what you want to do is pull out your hose. Disconnect it from here. Turn this like in a, an angle so we we'll lock up in place. So we we'll also go all the way back in. Then you have to fish it out. So I think, second thing we do, open up this this uh, this valve or the uh, enclosure. Open this up. Move this one so you won't lose it. You can put it on here. Hook up the elbow. Put the elbow in the drainage hole. We always like to put a little bit of weight on it so the rush of water won't make it come back up. Now we're going to the other side. There's a valve right here, right under this. I'm gonna reach under. I'm gonna pull it open. That allows water to start flowing. Over to this side. Open this valve on the left side, which is the black water valve. Now you'll see water running down. Now at this time, I will not turn on the water. And let water start flowing into the black water tank. Okay, so you're doing it at the same time? At this point, because it was full. If it wasn't full, like half full, the waste tank, I would turn on the water and start letting water flow in there to allow it to get full. By the time I hook everything up, it'll be almost three quarter to full. And at, at that time, I'll open it up. And I'm looking to see what, as you can see, it's still brown, but it's barely coming out. So I'm going to allow it to get full. At this time, I'll close the valve, this one. Now I can turn on the gray water, which allow it to dump out while the black water is still getting full, or the black tank. There's a gray water right here. So you pull the gray lever, okay? There's hardly any water because the previous renters, they had already dumped it out. The only thing you'll see in there is when we are doing um, that we're cleaning the RV, we we washing the sinks, we wash the sinks and that's the kind of water waste that you have. But normally when it comes back in, there should be no water in the gray, in the gray water. And the tank, the black tank should only have maybe about five gallons in there. It is a 40, 40 gallon tank. So five gallons are allowed to, the waste to be slushing in there and not become a break. We don't want it to get hard in there. At this time I close the gray one. At okay, this time, I'm going to go inside and, and check the levels of where the water level is at for the black water tank. There's two ways of checking to see where the water level is at. One is come in here and I make sure everything's on. I look at the black water. It's at three quarters right now. It might not be at that because Sometimes the the uh, sensors in there they get some film on it and it gives you a false reading. Let's check the gray water. See that's empty. That's how it should be when it comes back in. What we do, we do a double check. We check to see if it's full in because it's giving me three quarters. I know it's not that full in there. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to step on the on the uh, toilet flusher on the foot pedal, and we're going to look in there, and it's right about half right now. It takes about 15 minutes for the black water tank to get full of water, and then we'll do a second flush. And because this was not flushed when it came in, we're gonna have to do a three-way three flush at that time uh, today. So now it's showing full. I know it's not full. I'm just gonna dump it right now to allow all that other waste that was in there to go away. Yeah, this time I'm gonna open up the blood valve. And then we're gonna see that it's still brown. So there's still a lot of waste in it. We're looking for a, a clear uh, color to come out. Okay, so you pull the black lever? Yes. To release the black water again. For the second time. For the second time, and you are still having water from the spigot coming into the black into tank the RV, going into the black tank so you can continue to get full and continue to rinse the tank. yes we want for it to come out clear sometimes i've done it three or four times until clear water comes out that way the next renter that gets it it's a clean tank it's, there's nothing in there Water is still rushing into the black tank. Because it's still connected to the water and the here. And you can see that it stopped. Okay. What's the next step? At the next step is I'm going to allow it for it to get full again, which takes about 10 to 15 minutes. Well, mostly about 10 minutes. And then I'll do the third flush, and if it's still coming out brown, I'll do a third one. Or a fourth one today. Normally it's only two to three, if the people are real good, if they've read the instructions on how to do it, by the time I get in and come and clear it out, there should be clean water at the first flush, and then I know to be that the paper instructions? The instructions are right here. There's 22 steps. If you miss a step, you're gonna get what happened to these last renters. It came back full, and it was full of waste, and they get charged for it. Okay, this is a third dump for this one. Uh, we're gonna check and see how the water comes out. If it still comes out light brown, I need to do another one. So you pull the black lever again. Black lever again for the third time. Okay. And it's still coming out brown, so we know we need to do another another dump. So you just continue this process until it runs clear. Yes. And then that assures that the tank is completely clean. Yep. And again, as we are releasing, see it's already coming out clear. So that's good. Yeah. That's a good sign. So but we'll do another full tank and make sure that it comes out clear. Because okay. I don't want any stuff going to the next right, one. Right. Okay, so you close that and again the spigot is still on. It's still on. It is still connected to the RV. It is still filling up the tank with water. So we will continue to do that until it runs clear. So it's already running clear, so this is going to be the last time that we're going to fill up the tank. Hopefully it's the last time. Okay. Because we, we still, even though it came out clear last, but there could still be some more waste in there that didn't get caught on yeah. the drainage, and we'll still be able to see it come out. Yes. He is wearing gloves. You must wear gloves. Very important. Okay. Fourth time today. Let's see how the water comes out. Okay, so you pull the black lever again. It's good about pulling it. It's still a little foggy. You want to that? See? Yeah, I want it. That's clear right there. What was what we saw black coming out or brown was what was in the pipe. Yeah, that's so clean. that's already clean. Uh, I'm just going to let it to settle down, letting me know that it's empty and it's just the water coming from the spigot. So then you're not going to fill it up again. I'm not going to fill it up again. Okay. So today took four times. Okay, so now there is this 
spigot is still tied to the arm. Yes. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to come and shut off the main valve. This is the main valve over here. Okay. Because it's what stops the black water from flowing out to that. There's a pipe that goes across the RV. That's what I'm going to close. So you close it. Okay. So it's right there. Okay, now water's still flowing in there. I'm not concerned about it because I want water to be in there. I want water to be at least two inches so when you make your first waste, it's not going to land on something solid. Now, I know that this is empty because I wiggled it. Close this one up. Water's still flowing, so that's what we want. At this time, I'll disconnect this. Bring it. Bring it over, take this off. Connect it. And then disconnect this. At this time, I will go and shut it off. Now I've got about two inches of water. So that's already closed. And the two inches is about five gallons, because it is a 40 gallon container. Always make sure that you are still draining away from you. Because I got good shoes and I don't want that water on. What I like to do is I like to place it down in the bottom first. Just let all that water come out. This time I cover it back up. Slide it in there and I'm done with this. It closes well. I'm going to seal this up. Put the, uh, the elbow in here. The elbow is always dirty. Put in its own container. That one's ready to go inside. No tangles in there. At this time, I'm going to start wrapping it back up. It's going to be small little loops. As you can see, water is still dripping from here, but that's from the, from the flow of the packets here. Now, you use a stainless steel one because there's no restrictions on it. You want for the water always be full force onto the black tank because it goes straight from the from the center flush intake straight into the black tank. There's no stops, there's only one elbow and there's no restriction so there's no no backflow or no pressure build up in the hose. So one, you're done, you should almost stop right next to the next one to the uh, the one that goes to the spigot itself. And you always want to close it up. And the reason this is so you won't have no spillage inside, no water that's left in here inside the uh, container or the, uh, the storage con container. Now remember the small little loops, it fits perfect in there. Come in, throw it away and you're done. And that concludes this, this process of dumping your black water. Thank you very much. That concludes everything. Bye-bye.